you invite to join Resource Guru will have access to their own personalised dashboard. What someone sees here will depend on how they use Resource Guru and what permissions they've got. We're looking at this dashboard through the eyes of someone who creates bookings, but who has also booked themselves. Now, bookings will be shown in this area on the left hand side. You can scroll up to see bookings in the past and down to see bookings in the future. You can also click on this little arrow here to jump to a specific date and then click on today to jump back to where we are. You can click on any of your bookings here to see the full details of that booking. This button here will let you go directly to this booking on the schedule. Now up here we've got some filters. Filters let you choose which bookings you're looking at. If you're a booker as well as someone who can be booked, you'll see the option to display only bookings for you or only bookings you've made for others. You can also decide whether or not you want to see waiting list bookings here on the dashboard. Bookings that are on the waiting list are unconfirmed. They've got diagonal lines on them, so you can easily pick them out here. Over here, you can sync Resource Guru with an external calendar such as Outlook Calendar or Google Calendar. Now, this is a two way sync, so you can send events from Resource Guru to the external calendar and you can also bring events into Resource Guru from your external calendar as well. Have a look in our help center for a full walkthrough on how to set that up. It's really quick and easy to do. Now over on the right hand side here, you're going to find some other types of bookings. We've got bookings that are pending approval, bookings that are on the waiting list and tentative bookings. Now you're only gonna see the approvals button here if you have the approval workflow turned on in your account and if you have the ability to create bookings or approve bookings. Now the approval workflow feature lets you specify who can approve bookings for which people or other resources like your meeting rooms, for example. You can learn more about it over in our help center. But if you are using the approval feature, you can click on this button to open up the approvals window. Here you can see bookings that are pending approval, bookings that have already been declined and bookings that have already been approved. You can also filter here by booking requests that you have received and booking requests that you've sent to other people. Over here, you also have the option to look at either just your approvals or someone else's approvals. Now, this is great if you've got a colleague who is perhaps a PM and they've gone on holiday and you want to be able to keep an eye on their approvals for them whilst they're away. Now to approve or decline a booking from in your dashboard here, you just need to click on the relevant icon. If you need to see more details of the booking, you can click on the booking to expand this window where you've got all the information you might need. Or again, you can click on the review button here and that will take you to the booking in the schedule so that you can look at it directly there. If you've already declined or approved a booking and you want to change the status, just go to the relevant tab here and just click on the relevant icon. When you're declining a booking, you can give a reason for the decline. And whenever somebody's booking request is either approved or declined, they're gonna receive an email notifying them. And if you've entered a reason in here for the decline, that will also be included in the email that they receive. Next along here is the waiting list. Now these are unconfirmed bookings which need to be resolved. Again, you can click on this button here to review the booking directly in the schedule. And you can also click on it here to see the full details and make any adjustments. Now, as soon as you've resolved a booking clash, the clashed booking is gonna become confirmed and it will automatically come off the waiting list. Finally, over here, we've got tentative bookings. These are also bookings that are unconfirmed. They've been penciled in and they may or may not go ahead. So to see the full details of the booking, you're just gonna click on it here. And again, you can use this icon or this review button to go and visit this booking directly in the schedule. Down below here, you've got the time off area. Now, if you've got sufficient permissions, you will be able to add your time off here through the dashboard. This can be quite a handy feature if you're working with freelancers, for example, and you want a quick way for them to be able to tell you when they're not available without giving them full access to the schedule. 
Now down here, you're going to see any upcoming or in progress time off. And if you don't have full visibility of the schedule, then you're only going to see your own time off here. But if you do have full access to the schedule, you'll be able to see your time off as well as any time off of your colleagues as well.